time if we can, can uh, we can get started. All right. Okay. Hello, everybody. We're Karen Nova. Uh, we're a drone services company. Uh, we work in agriculture uh, specifically. Uh, we work with farmers and agronomists and do multi spectral imaging. So, what multi spectral imaging is, is we have um, this drone right here in the back. It has six different cameras and sensors on it. Um, this allows us to read light in specific bands, and um, from that, we are able to run certain algorithms that give us maps that tell us the plant through plant health in the field. So we have red light, we have a red light sensor, blue light sensor, uh, green light sensor, near infrared, red edge, and then regular edge view, which just gives us a uh, photographic camera. Um, so why we do this is because plants admit um, near infrared and red light as well. And we're able to read those, read, take readings in those bands and determine the plant health based on that. So when a plant is really healthy, it's doing really well, it's gonna give off a lot of near infrared and just a little bit of red light. And as the plant health uh, deteriorates, it's near infrared light levels go down and the red light levels go up. So by comparing these ratios, we're able to create maps that tell you the health of your plant and it gives you uh, insight into the areas of your field that you need to pay more attention to, and you're able to make decisions based on that. Okay, thank you, Amanda. But then, there is that. There is a portion of the multispectral imagery. Amanda is uh, our plant expert here. It's like all about you know the, the bands of the camera uh, of, of the images and the different algorithms. Not just plant DVI. There are many other algorithms that can be applied to take different decisions or to get different types of information about plants. But now, the question that we are asking and that we're trying to answer today is how does that turn into value for your field? Uh, could be dollar-wise, could be something quantitative or, qual or qualitative. And uh, we have a few stories that we'd like to share with you. These are real life stories. These are from the last couple of months that we've been flying over different fields as part of the tour, uh, also with some of our clients. And these are some of the findings that will allow you to think, to be creative and say, in my field, how can I apply this kind of technology to make it more valuable, to save money, to save a ton of time. So let's do that. Let's jump right ahead and see and get conclusions from it. At the end of the, of the presentation, we're going to do a quick drone uh, demonstration. The drone is going to fly. It's going to show us a little bit how what it sees, uh, show a little bit of that multispectral capability, and we'll answer some questions. So. This is the first field. This is just a, a soybean field. We have our drone just flying there. There is uh, there is Mo and uh, we're just taking some samples for the, for the yield tour. And these fields, we we're getting a lot of this uh, from our clients. They're saying the field looks so nice and green, like the, the green carpet. But once you go on the air, it looks completely different. And uh, and this is what we got. I mean, in, these, in this case, the, the plants were a little bit young. I mean, there were some bare spots, but at the same time, we can also find some areas that might be of concern. This is just your visible light. This is after we put together the map. But then, this is when we put together the NDVI. We know that it's very bright today, and we're doing our best to, to deal with glare, but uh, hopefully you guys can see that there are some, some areas here. These are just bare spots, but we pinpointed a couple of areas of concern, and we found a specific one just outside as we were flying over here, and we saw this, we saw this uh, yellowing area here. So we sent our, we sent our high resolution drone. It's not about just having one drone. We also, we have the multispectral, and then we have the high resolution imagery one. And here's a close up. Here's the drone looking at this, very close. We saw, we said, okay, this, there's something going on here. We got a little bit closer, and uh, who can tell me what this might be? SDS. Thank you very much, Peter. Right. So how, how low did the drone go to get that picture? Uh, this one must have been about three, four feet about the about the ground. Yeah, it's a very, very high resolution image that exactly our, our agronomist, when we were there, he said, yeah, that's SDS right there. Now, the farmer may or may not have known about this issue, but what new, we know is now that he knows, he can take action on that. And well, how do you put a dollar value to that? Okay, right. so quite, what act you, there's no action you can take though, is there? Not on that crop, no Rod. No, it's I too think late. You have to switch yeah. crops, right? Talk, talk to Henry next year about getting a better variety. 
some peaking system. <laughs> so there was a this first story, uh, and and again, it's all about you guys getting to think. Okay, how is this? Uh, how this could be valuable? Okay, so that's story one. Story two. This is a carrot field. The farmer, it was the first time that he was planting carrots in these fields and he said, okay, I want to know how they are doing, right? So this is the image from the from the air. This is the map that we put together for them. We saw a few spots here with the multispectral imagery. It was much clearer. Now this could have been the soil. This could have been something related to the seeds that he was using in there because he said that he used different seeds in different parts of the, of the field. But this is information that we can give him so he can work with his agronomist and say, okay, what is happening here? Let's just do a proper diagnosis of the field and then take action on that. But what's interesting about this more than that is this. One of the images that we got was little bare spots every few feet from the images that we, that we found. Turns out that he detected that he had an issue with his, with his planter. He talked with his, uh, with his mechanic and uh, they were able to fix it. And that way he was able, of course, to get rid of these uh, empty spots. And of course, the objective here is to have as many plants as possible per acre, right? To optimize the, the operation of the planter. So that's story two. For uh, this third story, I didn't have a picture of the field, you know, looking from below. So, well, it's actually in the background. This is just my son. But here in the back, we see a winter wheat field. Yes. In this case, the uh, our uh, this is it's our Terranova team, the little Terranova. Um, so our client, he asked us if we uh, he he had hired a, a sprayer guy. He said, "Can you come and and spray my fields?" And um, but he was suspicious that the sprayer guy had gone. Uh, outside the tram lines that he indicated, and uh, part of uh, and the result of that was that some areas were left without nitrogen, and some other areas were overshot. And the result of that was that the plants were falling over. So he said, "I need to provide evidence to my sprayer guy that they did not do their, their work properly." So we did the imagery. This is about 90 acres that we did for him. The visible image, well, doesn't show much, but if you go to the NDVI. Yep, oh. he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Correct. That's right. He, yeah. We were able, at the very end, we said, here's your evidence. Go back to your spare guy. Now you can discuss. Right. That's all. <laughs> and then so he allowed us to, uh, to share this portion of information. He said, this was a $16,000 job. I am able to go to my spare guy and tell him, I'm just going to pay half of the bill. $8,000. He paid us, this was 90 acres, we charged $5 an acre, it was $450. He said, I paid you 500 bucks, including tax, and I just saved myself $8,000. So there's a clear dollar value to this, a return on investment of uh, 16 to one. But it changes. I mean, you can you can tell someone, okay, yes, for every dollar that you invest in drone technology, we'll give you back too. But it varies so much. And there are so many applications by using this, not only again from a quantitative point, but also from a qualitative point. Um, Hey, so do you think you'll be able to hire a spare guy next year? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, you wouldn't work for him, Rod? <laughs> Not again. <laughs> but it was a shoddy job, right? That's the, the truth. The, the truth works, right? The auto right? steer messed up. Right? So, something screwed up or there. Or he didn't have it. <laughs> was he just Well, no, it, but it looked like they were very straight lines, right? So you would expect they had auto steer. So was, anyway, it doesn't matter. We aren't going to solve that. Rod just isn't going to work for him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, final story. Soybean field. Uh, you can tell this story, Amanda. Hello, soybean. Yeah, sure. Um, so this was another field that we went to, uh, soybean. Uh, so we did some imaging. This was taken early July. And then we went back to the Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. So here's the MBVI map that we had created uh, back in July. So you can already see that there's some areas. It's mostly green. The red uh, is usually bare soil, and then yellow would be plants that are showing. Up. Yellow orange is usually a stressing. So most of the field here is green. 
We've got a few areas around where there's a lot of bare soil uh, that are a bit more stressed out. So I punched in some cord I got some GPS coordinates and then we went and we sent out another drone to scout this So the red straight lines, what are they? Soil. No. This yeah. is anything in straight lines, something we did. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, it, so it's a track or it's something, absolutely. So it's a yeah. Exactly. What you're looking for. So, so the, the pins are are areas you're sending the, the drone to? Like, what? why why yeah. have you dropped the pins? So I That's dropped correct. the pins because they were showing stress signals around here. So it's hard to see from where you're standing, but there's like green and yellow. Like, so the green is the, the healthy, healthy plants. And then areas where I was seeing more yellow, orange, a bit more bare spots. Uh, I threw some coordinates in there for an, uh, another drone to go go out and scout with it. Yeah. So what do you do? Sorry. No, you have a couple more minutes. Oh, okay, okay. We'll go fast. Nice sight. Okay. So what I found was it was actually when we sent out the scouting drone, which was actually about a month after um, the, all these signals came about. Um, everything's looking green. There's no signs of insect damage, nothing. All looking good. Um, almost like every photo we took. And then I went through the photos and I started analyzing them and blowing them up because I couldn't see anything. And what I found was actually aphids walking uh -huh. around with my phone. And what we did was we sent the drone down nice and low uh, in these scouting areas and we got it. We got the drone, the turbulence from the drone, to flip the leaves over on the plants. And then we took images of the bottom of the leaves. And then by analyzing the back of each leaves, I was able to actually see aphids. I'll come around on my phone because so you can actually see them. But um, yeah, and so, that's my story there. So what's interesting about this is the fact that not just you can send a, a high resolution drone, but the fact that we had the exact coordinates of every single plant in that field. We're using RTK technology with these drones, so that way you can pinpoint these issues and you can go there. So that's the other thing. When we're sending this drone out, high resolution one, to a certain coordinate, first, all these pictures just going there and that would take probably two minutes yeah. max. Now imagine how long it would take you to take to bring a scout there walking, let alone if it's two, three areas of concerns to take a look and find out whether it's uh, worth taking tissue sample off or, or not. Um, and the other thing that we found really interesting, well, this, there's something really cool about this. And the fact that the drone is flying so low, the turbulence from the propellers flips over the leaves and then you can see underneath. And you can also see in between plants uh, the, the, the soil underneath. Uh, plus, yeah. there's a safety yeah, factor because if the drone is not touching the plants, if you go to one of these areas and you're touching them and you're walking, then there's a risk of cross-contamination. If it's a pathogen, then you can take it to other plants, other fields and so on. Here, we're not touching them at all. So uh, having said that, and uh, in the interest of time, we're going to do a quick demonstration with our with our drone now, uh, so you guys can see pretty much uh, what it does. This is just one part of the uh, one part of the yeah, puzzle. Uh, there's also the stitching. There's thousands of images involved in this, um, and then we will be able to to answer some questions for you. Just, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. It did look like there was a lot of them. black ones look like they had to be And I almost here the green. So you guys can also see here on the screen, you guys will also be able to see what, uh, what the drone is seeing, okay? <laughs> Okay, I can see it's very Yeah, yeah. So, so your high resolution was yep, this is all, all the screen. This is where you set up uh, in general. What we do is so if we get your attention for a second here. This is the area that we shouldn't do. Right? It's uh it's nice and close here. Uh, yeah. Uh, Okay. Uh, and we'll try to restart the start. 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 Start.
Carry on, sorry. Yeah, you, don't buy one of these machines at the source, right? That's 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 exactly correct, and that's one of the reasons why we uh, why we do the why we do what we do. Um, in many cases, uh, farmers they uh, or, or we've had clients that tell us, yep. okay, look, I, I have my own drone and I can do this, can do that. And yeah, that's true. But the thing is, it's all about time. What we're telling them is do what you do best. You can farm. And it, we tell agronomists, do, do what you do best. Leave this part to us, get all this, work with you, and study uh, the fields alongside. Um, so. Your services, we hire you in. Exactly. You hire us in, you call us in, you tell us, I'd like you guys to, to fly this field. This is what I either I'm suspecting something or I'd like to test a, a new fertilizer, see what the effect is on plants. Or I'd like to do a full follow-up on, on my field to see how, how it's looking. Um, okay, so we're almost ready to fly here. So let's just take a quick look here. Home location is refreshed. Okay, we're right. So mm -hmm. we go ahead and we're going to fly. Three, two, one, go. Obstacle detected. Obstacle detected. Home location is refreshed. <laughs> yeah, no airports around here. That much we can, that much we know. So the drone is going to go right to that area there. And then it's going to start mapping. And what you're seeing, what the drone is seeing is this here. But this is that, that field here is, is right now. And the, that's why you see the images the way that you see them. That's RGB? That is NDVI. That's NDVI, okay. That's correct. Uh, this is, so Mission I'll stops. stop it here for a second. This is RGB. This is okay. what the drone is seeing. This yep. is what a normal uh, camera would see. This is NDVI right here. And just like what we do with NDVI, we can also have other, uh, other bands, just go one second here. We can do GNDVI, green normal uh, normalized uh, um, different vegetation index, NDRE, uh, normalized red edge, uh, uh, normalized difference red edge. Uh, but in this case, for illustration for purposes, then we'll do this one. Now, let me take the drone a little bit to this area so we can see. I mean, the drone is all automated. I'm just going to take it manually for a second so, so we can illustrate the different colors on, on different fields here. <laughs> yeah. so you can see nice and green plants, uh, the other plants, I mean, they depending on different stages, on, on different status, depending on how the plant is, is feeling at that stage, it will <coughs> give us different signals. And many of these signals that oh, guys are seeing it's here, it's near infrared compared to red. This is not visible light. Part of it is just the red then, plus the near infrared. So, like I was saying, this is all uh, real time, what the drone is doing, but at the end of the day, we're taking thousands of pictures. This is half an acre that we're doing right now, but the same way that we do half an acre, we can do a hundred, a thousand acres, no problem, there's no limit to that. Um, so we're gonna let the, the drone, you know, fly it for, on its own for a little bit. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I don't know how we're doing for time. Looks like we're done, or? Yeah. Well, sorry about that. Okay, so if you guys need anything else, please, Come over, uh, there's a sign-up sheet, there's uh, our business cards, and we're here to answer any additional questions, right? In the meantime, thank you very much for your time and have a great day.